that's one of the major problems we are facing, the problem of poverty. It's basically the tension between faith and real life experiences. It's hard to make sense of our faith in times of tragedies. These are displaced people, victims of typhoons, uh, relocations, uh, floods. They lost everything. I think the, the best way to convey the message and the Word of God to these hurting people and the best way to build these communities back is to just be there. Just be there and listen and cry with them, lament with them. Before we can just jump in and say, God has a plan for you, God has a purpose for this tragedy, and you're talking to someone who lost three kids, they don't understand because you don't understand them. Yeah. In Tacloban, after Hayan, our preaching there is all about coming from lamentation. And the, the response of people is remarkable. You see? So, we, we don't just need the therapists. We need the biblical scholars. It's, it's unbelievable that a biblical scholar would engage in a community immersion project. No. Normally, it's the anthropologists, the missiologists, the uh, community development people, but not the biblical scholars and the theologians. Because it's assumed that we, we are in the corners of our room writing the theology and you apply it. There's a gap. We, 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 we are breaking this gap now. We are trying our best to, to, to break this gap. Yeah. <laughs> For a scholar or a theologian like me, it's actually transformational to, to uh, be immersed in the community of the dispersed and displaced people because there you learn to listen, you learn to discern, you learn to serve authentically. Mm -hmm.